So here we have some metric units of length. Millimetres, centimetres, metres and kilometres. Now, you need to memorise that 10 millimetres make 1 centimetre. 100 centimetres make 1 metre. And 1,000 metres make 1 kilometre. You have to memorise these equivalents. Now, in other words, what we're saying is that in one centimetre, there are 10 millimetres. In one metre, there are 100 centimetres. And in one kilometre, there are 1,000 metres. Now, how do I convert millimetres into centimetres? And centimetres into metres and metres into kilometres. So, let's do these conversions. Now, to convert millimetres into centimetres, I divide by 10 And to convert centimetres into millimetres, I multiply by 10. I do the inverse, the opposite. Now, to convert centimetres into metres, I divide by 100. Divide by 100. And to convert metres into centimetres, I multiply by 100. 100, the inverse. Now, to convert metres into kilometres, I divide by 1,000. And then to convert kilometres into metres, I do the inverse again. I multiply by 1,000. Now, can you see the link between these numbers here and these numbers there. The key to memorizing this conversion diagram is first of all you need to memorize these equivalents. So every single one of you needs to memorize that one centimeter makes 10 millimeters, one meter makes 100 centimeters, one kilometer makes 1000 meters. Once you have memorized this you can use these numbers to draw this conversion diagram. Now, how do you remember whether you should divide or multiply? It can be a bit confusing at times. To memorize this conversion diagram, all you need to remember, well, the key thing that you need to remember is that when you are converting a smaller unit into a larger unit, because millimeters are smaller than centimeters, you divide. So converting a smaller unit to a larger unit, because centimetres are smaller than metres, I divide. Smaller unit into larger units, I divide. Now, when we are converting larger units to smaller units, because kilometres are larger than metres, I do the opposite, I multiply. So larger units into smaller units, I multiply. Larger units, because centimetres are larger than millimeters so larger units to smaller units i multiply so that's the key to memorizing this conversion diagram when you are converting smaller units to larger units you divide and when you are converting larger units to smaller units you multiply and you can easily recall the numbers here 10 100 and 1000 if you know these equivalents off by heart. You need to memorize this. You need to learn off by heart that in one centimeter there are 10 millimeters, in one meter there are 100 centimeters, and in one kilometer there are 1000 meters. Okay, now let's use this conversion diagram to do some conversions. So here we have some questions. So let's start off with the first one. So here we are being asked to convert 54 millimeters into centimeters. Now, I'm dividing, I am converting smaller units into larger units, so I will divide. Now, clearly, when we are converting millimetres into centimetres, I divide by 10. So, 54 millimetres, to convert it into centimetres, I divide by 10. So, 54 divided by 10 is just 5.4.
you move the decimal one place there. Okay, so 54 millimeters is equivalent to 5.4 centimeters. Okay, now let's do the next one. B, 3.7 centimeters into millimeters. So here I am converting larger units because centimeters are larger than millimeters, larger units into smaller units. Now when I convert larger units into smaller units, I will multiply. And clearly when I'm converting centimeters to millimeters, I multiply by 10. So to convert the 3.7 centimeters into millimeters, I multiply the 3.7 by 10. So 3.7 multiplied by 10 is equal to 37. I've just moved the decimal place one place to the right. So 3.7 centimeters is equivalent to 37 millimeters. Now let's do the next one. 69 centimeters into meters. So I'm converting smaller units into larger units. So clearly I will divide. And when you're converting centimeters into meters, I divide by 100. I divide by 100. So here I do 69 divided by 100, which is equal to 0 0.6. Nine. I've just moved the decimal place one, two places to the left because I'm dividing by 100. There are two zeros there. So 69 centimetres is, is equivalent to 0 0.69 metres. Now the next one, D, 6.82 metres into centimetres. So here I'm converting larger units into smaller units. Now when I convert larger units into smaller units I need to multiply and clearly I will multiply by 100 because converting I'm converting meters into centimeters. Multiply by 100 so I do 6.82 multiplied by 100 and clearly that's equal to 682 because I have moved the decimal places two places to the right. Remember when I multiply by 100, I move the decimal place to the right, two places to the right. So here, 6.82 metres is equivalent to 682 centimetres. Now let's do the next one. 3,530 3, metres into kilometres. Now here I am converting smaller units into larger units, so I will clearly divide. And I hear to convert meters to kilometers, I divide by 1,000. So, 3,530 divided by 1,000 is equal to 3.53. Hundred and thirty divided by one thousand is three point five three because I have moved the decimal point place three place to the left, one two three, and you'll notice that I haven't written the zero here because I do not need to write the zero here. Three point five three is exactly the same as three point five three zero, so three thousand five hundred thirty meters is equivalent to. 3.53 kilometers. Now let's do the next one. 6.09 kilometers into meters. Now we are converting larger units, kilometers, into smaller units, meters. So when I'm converting larger units into smaller units, I need to multiply. And clearly to convert kilometers to meters, I multiply by 1,000. So... 6.09 multiplied by 1,000 is equal to, I move the decimal place 1, 2, 3 places to the right, that's equal to 6,090. So 6.09 kilometres is equal to, equivalent to 6,090 metres. And we're done. Now here we are being asked to convert 
8,934 millimeters into meters. Now, clearly we are converting smaller units, millimeters, into larger units, so we will divide. Now, what are the steps here? Well, we are going from millimeters all the way to meters, so I need to do this in two steps. I divide by 10, and then I divide by 100. So, to go from millimeters to meters, I need to divide by 10, and then divide by 100. So let's do this. So I first I do 8,934 divided by 10, which is equal to 893.4. And then I divide that answer, 893.4, by 100 which is equal to 8.934. Now, so we've done this in two steps. First, we divided by 10. I divided by 10 here, and then I divided by 100. I divided by 100. And my answer is 8,934 millimeters is equivalent to 8.934 meters. Now, one thing that I want to mention here is that dividing by 10 and then dividing by 100, you are doing two divisions here, dividing by 10 divided by 100, is the same as dividing by 1000. Can you see what I've done? I've just combined the zeros here. And similarly, if I wanted to go from meters to millimeters, instead of multiplying by 100 and then multiplying by 10, I could just do this in one go by multiplying by 1000. So meters to millimeters, I could just multiply this by 1000. Now, let's do the next one. Here we're being asked to convert 0 0.89 kilometers to centimeters. So here, I'm going from a larger unit, kilometers, into centimeters, into a smaller unit. So, larger units to smaller units, so I will multiply. Now, clearly, to go from kilometers to meters, I multiply by 1,000, and then from meters to centimeters, I multiply by 100. So, to go from kilometers to centimeters, I need to multiply by 1,000, and then multiply by 100. We can do this in two steps. So... First, 0 0.89 multiplied by 1,000, I'm, I'm doing this step here, is equal to, I move the decimal three places to the right, 1, 2, 3, so that becomes 890. And then I multiplied that answer, 890, by 100, where I'm doing this step here, 890 multiplied by 100, I move the decimal two places to the right, so that becomes 89000, which is basically 89,000. So the answer to this question, 0 0.89 kilometers into centimeters, 0 0.89 kilometers in centimeters is 89,000 centimeters. And here, once again, I wanted to mention that going from kilometers to centimeters, instead of doing this in two steps, I could have just gone in one step, meaning multiplying by 1,000 and then multiplying by 100 is the same as multiplying by 100,000. So we could have just done this in one go by multiplying this number by 100,000 to get the final answer.